Hey, little Rico. I am thrilled to announce a huge victory for animals tonight around the world. 150 drug stores in China have just announced they will no longer sell bare bio products, making that more than 260 pharmacies and 11 companies in China who are now bare bio free. Plus, one of China's industrial bare bio farms withdrew its application for a stock market launch. Here's what we're talking about. The hard work far from over. Uh, there are thousands of bears being tortured who need our help. Take a look at this. It's medieval torture. Some 12,400 bears all across Asia forced to live their entire lives in tiny cages. They're so small they can't turn around or even stand up. It's also their bile can be sucked out of them with a tube for use in uh, some kind of traditional medicine, even though studies now say that bile actually causes more harm than good. Critics say sucking out the bile from a bear's body is painful, cruel, and causes massive infections to innocent, helpless bears. It's torture, plain and simple. Look at these bears. They're mostly starved, dehydrated. They suffer from multiple diseases. Bottom line, it's barbaric and totally unnecessary. Straight out to one of my heroes, a crusader who's devoted her life to fighting to save these bears, Jill Robinson, founder of the incredible group Animals Asia. Jill, the famous Chinese basketball player, Yao Ming, known for his height, now getting known for his heart, he is also crusading against these vile bear farms as part of a budding animal rights movement inside China. What's going on in China to try to make this a part of the past, something that hopefully they will one day look at with horror and say no more? Jane, there's simply nothing less than a revolution going on in China now. There are hundreds of thousands of people joining us. One can even say hundreds of millions today, actually, just rising up against the bear bile industry because it is so unconscionably cruel and one doesn't need bear bile in traditional medicine. We have the doctors, as you say, joining us. We have celebrities. We have people actually going out in flash mobs in the streets. I've never seen anything like it. And it's really, you know, everything's coming full circle now after working against this industry for the last 20 years. And I want to point out that um, there are no happy bears in this story except the ones who have been rescued. So the ones who have been rescued are rescued by AnimalsAsia.org. You can learn on the other side of the break how you can get involved, how you can go to www.AnimalsAsia.org and actually sponsor a bear that has been rescued from this hellish existence. Stay right there. More on the other side. This convoy of vehicles is preparing to set out on a major rescue mission. And this is where they're going for the rescue. This is a so-called bear farm. The word farm sounds so normal, so innocuous. But it's not innocuous. It's actually a cruel, heartless place. And the cages of shame go to animalsasia.org. Get involved. You can sponsor a rescued bear. What, Jill, should Americans do? Please join Animals Asia. Go to our website and help us stand behind the people of China. These are the people, believe it or not, that are ending bear farming in their own country, and they need our help to do it. I can't emphasize that enough. Great, great strides are being made now across the country, and it's up to us now to, to empower and These help every single Chinese doing that. are the rescued bears. This is how bears should live, in peace and harmony and freedom, able to move. Help them.